this video, I'm gonna go over how to assemble your alias belt system drop adapter to all of your accessories. This can attach directly to your OWB holster. It can attach directly to a Safarilian QLS, as well as the G-Code system. So we're gonna start with attaching to the holster. I wanna show you a few things here. You have three height location to attach to here, and it gives you some cant adjustability as well. So take, take your holster, I have, I have OWB holsters from a lot of different companies and everyone seems to have a little bit different hole pattern option on it. Uh, some may work better than others, but on this one here, I'm gonna go ahead and line up and I can see that if I use the outer two holes and the bottom hole here, that I will be able to attach here and down here. So. I also have some, some cant adjustability here. I'm gonna go ahead and set this up for the holster at the bottom most location. The hardware that we sent to you is going to include some spacers, some nuts, and some bolts. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take the first nut and I'm going to push it up through the holster, put a spacer over it, and then I'm gonna go ahead and get one of these bolts started. You don't have to tighten it, just loosely get it started. I'm gonna repeat that into the next top holder. If you need to rotate this out of the way to get that spacer on there, get the next bolt started. The one down at the bottom is gonna be the most tricky. A little bit of a balancing act here. I'm just gonna put this on the tip of my finger and see if I can do this first try. Yep, got it. Now I'm going to put the washer on like that. And now I can get the last bolt started. If you would like to add a blue Loctite to your screws, go ahead and do that before you start assembling. And now I can adjust the cant of this holster if you like a forward cant if you would like a negative cant back you have some adjustability there so all i'm going to do tighten those screws down and i'm going to be ready to go and i can attach this to my alias belt with the receiver let's look at the next accessory the next thing we're going to attach is a safari land qls adapter. Again, I'm going to set this up in the bottom most location. I'm going to take one of the nuts. It doesn't really matter which, which one you start with. And then a spacer. And then take the bolt and get it started. If I'm doing the bottom one down here, I'm going to want to do the bottom Slots here, you can see that there is some cant adjustability built in there. If you wanna go ahead and try to get both of them going and hold both, that's great too. Line up the holes and get the screw started. You have a lot of cant adjustability built into the adapter, but also keep in mind that you have cant ability built into your holster attachment as well. So I like to go ahead and just mount mine straight up and down on this because I'm gonna add the cant on the holster attachment side. So with that, I'm gonna go ahead and tighten these screws down. The nice thing about this is now I can use the same holster with the Safari Land attachment on my battle belt as I do on my alias belt. I can swap holsters around, all the amazing things that we love about the 
this Firelink QLS you can now have on this. For example, I have my holster here. This is an A&R design holster with our Tegris drop leg attachment. I have a whole nother video showing how to install this, but the nice thing is now I can drop this on here and I'm ready to lock it in to my alias system belt. All right, let's look at assembling the G-code attachment. Make sure that you have this facing out the right way. And I'm gonna go ahead and attach it to, again, the bottom most location on this. You're gonna see that you have a lot of different ride height adjustment. You're gonna be using this slot here, and then you can use these. Now with the G-code, you don't really have any cant adjustment on the receiver. I'm gonna go ahead and get the hardware started on here. You're gonna be using the outermost points of the arc here, of the slot. So I'm gonna put those bottom two down there, put the spacers on, and then lay this on top, line up the holes, and get the bolt started. Now I'm going to get the last nut. It's gonna go in the slot. If you wanna kinda of pull it up at the top of the slot, get this started, and then slide it down underneath. That'll make it a little bit easier. Take our last bolt and go ahead and get it tightened down. You can also do this without the spacers. If you want to get a little more th thread engagement into the nut, you can assemble this without the spacers as well. Now I can take my G-code holster and attach it to my alias adapter, lock it into my alias belt. So there are the three ways that you can use your alias drop adapter. You can use it directly to your holster, you can use it with a Safari Lane QLS, and you can use it with the G-Code adapter. If you have any other questions, go ahead and hit us in the comments below. Always happy to help. Go to our website, theneomag.com, and you can use the form there to reach out to our customer service. We're always happy to help you get your system set up. Thank you guys, have a great day.